you're in business to make money. So when you go into an account and you see something and you walk out of the account and you feel bad about it because you can't really help those people. Two years ago, I went into a, an account. The gentleman was bedridden, didn't have a lot of finances, and he was having a, a very, very bad episode of bed bugs. And, and when I say bad, there were tens of thousands of bed bugs. And the only people he really had was nurses aides and people that probably tended to him. They were really subject to get those bugs. One day I got up and said, you know, I think we can help some people and I think there's a way to do it. Well, let's come up with a bed bug relief fund. We came up with a mission statement and our mission was to make better living conditions for the community, for the poor, the handicapped, cap or the disabled through the eradication of bed bugs. There's two reasons bed bugs are here to stay and it all comes back to the financial burden. The preparation that it takes for somebody to do it. Well if somebody's disabled and they really can't do that, what you're asking them to do is infeasible. Your $99 job is probably expensive to them but to get it done right you still have to prepare the structure. So at that point it becomes a financial burden. Some of the things that uh, our charity does, it does provide furniture for people, beds couches and chairs, household items, end tables, nightstands to lights, things like that because those are the things that are near and dear to that bed or that couch or chair that they're putting stuff on. So if you guys have furniture that let's say you're getting new furniture this year and you're opting to throw it out, don't throw it out, call us. Uh, we'll come and get it or you guys bring it down to our shop. So we got locations in Springfield, Troy, Dayton. You can bring that stuff to us and we'll make sure that get utilized and gets put back into the community where I think it belongs. The monetary value is definitely important because like I said, it all comes back to the almighty dollar where we definitely need the dollars to help. Go to Bed Bug Relief Fund. Dot com. There's people waiting for jobs. They need these jobs and they need them done so we can get them back into uh, good living conditions. If you still have bugs, it wasn't us. All our patients die. Call 1-800-737-8189.